Okay, these are some tough times for Fido, and tonight, as a result, there's some warnings for pet owners. An unprecedented shortage in veterinary care is forcing a lot of people to go to extraordinary lengths to get emergency treatment for their pets. The pandemic led to a spike in pet adoption, and vets simply can't keep up with the demand. Here's NBC Bay Area's Jody Hernandez. Hi, you sweet girl. Kathleen Stafford is giving her dog Winnie a lot of TLC tonight. A two and a half year old French bulldog nearly died when an afternoon of dog play led to a spinal injury requiring emergency surgery. You never really think that something this dire is going to happen to a two and a half year old dog, you know, just playing in the backyard. <laughs> Stafford's vet told her Winnie would need surgery right away to survive. Problem was, Winnie's parents couldn't find a neurologist to do the surgery anywhere close by. My husband and I were completely frantic. We just, we were just, we just like if it was a, a human child, we literally just, whatever it took, we were going to do it. After calling 30 vet hospitals across the state and in Oregon, they managed to find one in Southern California. They got her there in the nick of time. We want to do everything we can for these animals, and we feel very, very bad for the clients for their frustration and sometimes anger. Dr. Carl Jandry yeah, with the UC too, Davis School I of Veterinary day, Medicine says we're experiencing an unprecedented shortage in veterinary care. He says a surge of people have adopted pets during the pandemic and clinics don't have the staff to keep up. When the caregivers now have COVID or the COVID spreads through their hospital, um, it can wipe out an entire hospital and there are hospitals in this area that have closed for two to four weeks because they had 80% of their staff out. Jondry says the bottleneck is likely not going to improve anytime soon. He urges pet parents to keep on top of preventative care and map out a plan in case of an emergency. <laughs> Stafford's grateful they found a surgeon. It cost $14,000, but Winnie is expected to recover. She means the world to me. She's one of, I have three grown sons, so she's my she's my daughter for sure. She's my my little girl and I I I would do it again tomorrow. In the North Bay, Jody Hernandez, NBC Bay Area News.